Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use decorators in Python. By the end of this video, you'll know what decorators are, what they are used for, and how to use them. And you'll be able to implement them into your own code, and write a more functional program. Just before we get into it, if you are new here, my name is Caleb Shaw, and I post great programming tutorials every day. So if you are new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future tutorials. Now if you haven't seen the previous episodes where we covered first class functions and closures, I highly recommend that you pause this video and go and watch them because you need to understand those concepts before we learn about decorators. So let's get right into it. A decorator is a function that takes another function as an argument, adds something extra to it, and then returns another function. It does this without changing the code of the original function that you passed in, which is really useful. You create a function, and then you pass it to another function, and then that function decorates it and adds more functionality to it, and then gives it back to you. If you don't understand it right now, don't worry, you will once we have been through some examples. So, I've just got this example right here. So what we've done here is we have our variable decorated func that executes a decorator function and passes the my func function object. So it passes this function object to decorator func, which takes in a main func. Then it returns the wrapper func object, which itself just returns the main func. So our decorated func variable here is actually equal to this wrapper func. And then we call it like this, and what that does is it calls the main func right here, so it calls this my func, and so if we run it, we get the output. Now, decorators are quite hard to keep track of, because there's a lot of passing and returning, and hopefully you can follow along. Feel free to rewatch that explanation until you catch on to what we are doing. So this is a basic decorator that receives the function, wraps it using this wrapper function, and then returns it. Now, at the moment, it's a bit pointless, but the reason why we use decorators is to add extra functionality to our main function without altering the source code. And we do this by adding the extra functionality that we want into our wrapper. So what we can do is we can go into our wrapper function and add extra code there instead of our original function. So in our wrapper function, let's just print out, I am wrap wrapping the original function and then if we run that we can see we have pretty much added extra functionality to our original function without changing it you could imagine decorators as wrapping up the original function in some extra decorations so we have i am wrapping the original function this is my function that will be decorated so to recap we've got our variable here that is equal to decorator func and it passes my func so decorator func up here takes in the my func objects. Notice how we don't have parentheses, so we aren't calling it. Then it returns wrapper func object. It doesn't execute it. It returns the actual function objects. So decorated func is equal to this function. And this function right here prints I am wrapping the original function and then returns and executes my func. So decorated func basically gets the wrapper function, which has the original function and the new functionality to it, and then it calls it. Now, if there is a faster way to decorate functions, what we can do is, above the original function, and some of you may remember doing this with static and class methods in the object-oriented programming series, we write the at symbol, and then your decorator function, so in our case it is decorator func. And this is how we usually see decorators being used. This is the exact same way as saying decorated func equals decorator func my func. I'm just going to get rid of this. So we are calling the decorator func and automatically passing in the original function to it. So if we call my func, we can see it's been automatically decorated. However, doing it like this means that any time we run the original function, it will already be decorated. This means we can't run the original function without it being decorated. The advantage to this is it's much simpler to read. Now, I'm going to end the video here. Next video, we will continue with decorators. We will learn about adding arguments in our functions and how to chain multiple decorators together. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on that. 
If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. If you would like to support me, all you have to do is give this video a like, it really does help me out. That's it from me, cheers and goodbye.